CS2 just released a few days ago and this game isn't exactly following the path of its ancestor when it comes to playing on any PC. Now CSGO was one of those games that you could play on almost any PC with a little bit of tweaks. But however CS2 isn't exactly going on that path. You do need somewhat of a decent PC to play this game. But I do gotta admit that the graphics, visuals and a lot has actually improved. Now in this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can get the maximum FPS out of CS2 in your PC. Now as I've said before you do need somewhat of a decent PC to play this game. Like you need a PC with 8GB of RAM and something like an IDIS XC GPU. Now let me know down in the comment section below what your specification is and I'll let you know if you can play the game or not. So without wasting any more time let's begin. First of all we're gonna go through some Windows optimization. For that go to settings, I mean your Windows settings. Then from here go to gaming and turn off Xbox Game Bar. So go here Xbox Game Bar and turn it off. Now go back and go to game mode and turn this on. This will improve the gaming performance of your PC by almost 10%. So obviously turn this on. Now go to graphics then go to change default graphics settings and make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is also turned on. Now optimization for windowed games can be turned on or off depends on your preference but I recommend turning it on. But however, most people don't actually play windowed games, so it doesn't make any difference anyway. So after doing this, close the settings and go to Steam. Then from Steam, go to library and find CS2 or Counter Strike 2. Then right click on it, go to properties. And from the general settings, set these launch options. First of all, we have no vid. This will skip the intro for the game. Then high. This will set CPU priority to high, then FPS max 0, which means maximum FPS will be uncapped. So 0 actually means uncapped here, it doesn't mean that you're gonna get 0 FPS, so don't worry about it. And also full screen, and allow third party software, you actually don't need this. I actually needed this for MSI Afterburner, but this is actually optional. So after doing this, close this and open your game. Now as of September 30th, I mean the time I'm recording this video, the servers are really full and the game is, I mean Valve is actually struggling to give place to everyone. So if you are facing any kind of network lag, it just might be the servers that are full and are just actually unable to keep up with the crowd. So wait for a few days and it will get fixed. So for any kind of network issues, I'd recommend you to wait for a few days and it will get fixed. Now anyway, from the game, go to settings, then go to video. Now from here, aspect ratio, this is actually up to you. Now if you want to play on stretched resolution, you can select 4 to 3 or if you are actually willing to play on like 1080p or 900p, just set it to 16 to 9. And if you have a wider monitor than 16 to 10, that's also an option. Now set the resolution to 1920 into 1080, which is the resolution of my monitor. Now this actually depends on what type of monitor you're using. But however, it also depends on your GPU. So if your PC doesn't have a good GPU, then I'd recommend you to set it to 1280 into 720. So go ahead and hit it and then go to apply changes. Like, dude, stop it, please. Okay, so hit apply changes. Now my PC can run on 1080p just fine. So I'm just gonna keep it on 1920 into 1080. But however, if you're lagging, set it to 720. Or also 1600 into 900 is also an option. So anyway, after setting your resolution, go to advanced video settings and copy all the settings that you can see here. First of all, global shadow quality to medium. I mean, you can actually set this to high if your PC can handle it. And I also recommend it to high anyway because this will show you the shadow of players. And also I recommend you to not set this on low because this game actually like, um, I don't know how you can say it. Like shadows actually will give you some competitive advantage, I can say that. So make sure to turn this to medium or if you can, just set it to high. Then set the model or texture details to medium as well. Now if your PC is unable to handle medium, then go to low. Otherwise medium is just the perfect one. Then copy all of the settings that you can see here and well, now you might not see NVIDIA reflects low latency. If you don't see it, then well, it's just fine. It's okay, you can skip it. Also make sure to set this to enable plus boost. I sort of forgot that. And also 
Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Set this to performance if you really need to. Now I will recommend you to keep this on balanced. That way you can get good FPS while also not sacrificing the graphics quality by a lot. But if you really have to, set this to performance. And well, copy all of the settings that you can see here and that will be it. Now vertical sync is also an optional settings. If you are seeing any kind of screen tearing issue, turn this on, otherwise keep it off. And well, that's pretty much all you gotta do for the in-game settings. Now go to game and make sure that enable developer console is enabled. Now that way you can use any kind of developer console settings. Now I don't actually have any kind of new console settings that I can recommend. But in future you will find a lot of console settings that might be useful. Now that's pretty much all you gotta do. But however if you have an Nvidia GPU, there are a few settings that I would recommend you to use. So quit the game. Then open NVIDIA control panel. From NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, then go to program settings, and then select CS2 from here. If you don't see CS2 here, then hit add, and you'll see CS2 right here. So anyway, make sure to set the preferred GPU to NVIDIA GPU, which is the high performance NVIDIA processor. Now this is optional. If you have a laptop that comes with two or three GPUs, you can use this. Otherwise, you don't actually have to use these settings. Now from here, go to low latency mode, so where was it again, okay, so set the low latency mode to ultra. Now max frame rate can be set to off, which means unlimited, then also go to texture filtering, I mean texture quality and set this to performance, because we want maximum performance here and well, we don't need much of a texture, so anyway. Okay, so high performance is gonna make the textures really bad. So keep it on performance and vertical sync, well, as I've said before, that's optional from in-game. And well, that's what you have to do. Now hit apply. Now you can actually use any kind of game booster if you want. I'm really not a big fan of game boosters. I think they're kind of like a gimmick, but if you want, you can use any game booster like exit lag or anything like that. And also, if any game booster works really good for you, let me know down in the comment. I'll recommend this to other people. And well, that's it for today. And see you guys in the next video. And also, if this video helped, then please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.